Welcome back everyone. Today we're looking at best practices for dashboards. Then uh, we're going to build our own at the end based on what we've learned. Okay. So first I'd like to show you a couple of the different dashboards that are out of the box. This is part of what's included with Northcraft Analytics. As you know, you get the data warehouse, the cubes, the ETL, the dashboards, the reports. Uh, we follow best practices when building our own dashboards, but uh, once you learn them, they're, they're pretty simple and you can do it yourself. So look at two dashboards here. One is our upcoming product, Bomgar for Interaction Management, okay, which will fall into the service desk function of our uh, BI application offerings, uh, along with products like uh, Cisco and Avaya and Interactive Intelligence. Okay, so there's Bomgar, and then we have the ServiceNow Incident Management uh, Workbook. So uh, talk about the similarities real quick between the two dashboards. There are three levels of detail essentially in the dashboard. Okay, you have at tier one, the aggregate level. Okay, and this is where you're gonna place your key performance indicators. So here we're looking at things in incident management like percentage of incidents meeting service level agreements, median hours to resolve, not average. Percentage of incidents priority critical and incident volume. So you can pick from our library of 2,700. So there are plenty to choose from and typically uh, you'll find ones that are applicable to your process area, okay? Or you can request your own as part of the maintenance bill. Um, okay, so then that's, that's the tier, that's the aggregate level. Level two is gonna be your time series analysis. So you can then take that most important KPI such as a percentage of incidents meeting SLAs as your line, and then you're looking at your volume metric, okay? Um, so we're looking at by month incident volume. And you can see that it's been increasing, and this happened to be after a uh, ServiceNow Go Live, in fact. So uh, that's level two. Level three is the actual granular, uh, you know, detailed data. And so it will be tied to these other widgets. Okay, so if I select, a certain month, for example, I can explore my performance for just that month. Now, one thing we've added, um, because we think it's a helpful feature, is, and this will be different for each organization, but there was going to be a uh, one additional filter that you could use in, in the incident management context. Here, we're looking at category. Could be subcategory in service now. It could be uh, priority. It could be assignment group, um, could be configuration item. Could, but what you want to look at in, is this uh, heat map that shows you a concentration of the volume by uh, the um, attribute that you're most interested in, in this case, um, in this case category. So if we look at application server incidents, for example, uh, the context of all of the KPI switches, the time series analysis, uh, also switches to the context of that category and the detailed level data. And you notice how quickly that happens, and that's just a function of the Northcraft applications and their ability to handle so much data. Okay, so that's incident management. If we look at BombGuard, you'll see the same concept applied. We've got our KPIs at the top. So session count, okay, uh, total number of chat sessions, basically. Percentage of sessions with technical challenges. Okay, not every chat session is about a technical challenge. Um, our session wait time, now we, we don't notice we're in red here, that's an issue. People are waiting too long before they get an agent in chat. And uh, that's more cost, costly for the organization if they then pick up the phone. Uh, so, so these are our key performance indicators for interaction management. Next is our time series analysis. So we can see when chat sessions peak. Interestingly, it seems to be more heavily used in the months of fall um, for one reason or another. We can also look at our session count by technology. Okay, so we say, oh, okay, well, um, looks like a great concentration of these chat sessions are for people soft issues. Um, and you'll notice again, all of the key performance indicators adjust. I have my uh, primary team name slash group filters. That's the way, um, you know, that's, that's Baumgart's name for it. And then at the third level, my details. So there, there we have our, our same concept across two process areas, um, incident management and interaction management, which is part of the service desk function in terms of our product licensing. Okay, 
Next, we're going to build our own dashboard from scratch. Uh, to mix things up, we'll use BMC Remedy. Okay. Uh, so to, we'll start with our first level of detail, which is the aggregate level. We'll put a key performance indicator on there. And we'll choose one of our KPIs uh, from within BMC Remedy ITSM. So it's percentage of incidents breaching SLAs, and that would require that you have BMC service level management turned on and configured with service targets. So we, we take a vo value goal, and then for the trend, you'll need to use a date field. So we use date, okay, here. Um, you know, maybe we use month. Um, reported date doesn't isn't completely filled out, so maybe we'll use something like submit date for those of you who know Remedy. Uh, there we go. So we have our value goal. Oh, and these are breaches. <laughs> I'm sorry for a minute there. I thought there were percentage of incidents meeting. So that's fine. We can look at the you know the flip side of it. We'll look at uh, breaches. And um, okay, so we'll look at breaches as one of our KPIs. Then next we'll look at. Um, Average resolve time, set of medium. We looked at median before, so this time we'll look at average. Okay, again, I'll choose a KPI. Okay. And again, this is the tier one detail. So value goal, and then we'll do that same date for trend. Okay, so that's 41.6 hours. Um, all right, so we can see that. And the nice thing is these KPI cards have the... Um, the graphs built into them so that's that visualization you're seeing that is the actual performance on that date okay uh, so next we'll look at our time series so there we're going to choose our our um, line and stacked column chart all right and here we want to use um, incident volume uh, so we'll look at total incidents will be an incident counts folder. I can also search. I should have done that through the uh, metadata search. That's a very powerful and simple feature. Okay, so we'll do total incidents. Okay, then we want to do that by, um, let's do it by month this time. You notice we have an enormous data set. We might want to filter that a little bit later, but um, it's actually one of the advantages of Northcraft to be able to query so much data so quickly. Um, but for our line value here, that's where we want to um, bring in our... Um, percentage of incidents let's do meeting this time okay we'll do that as the line drag that into the line values and there we go okay so there's your level two of detail um, I need to make this probably a little bit smaller right so I have some more real estate to work with before I get to level three of detail I still want to probably filter that okay so for the level three of de detail this is where we use our table Okay, table list, and there here we can just bring in the fields from uh, from the BMC Remedy ITSM uh, BI application. So, and and you can bring in whatever it is you like uh, from the fields that are available to choose from. So we might want to do obviously a signee uh, that hierarchy, which includes everything from sport organization to group to signee to incident number. So I checked that box, and that brings in a lot of data right there, right right off the bat. So that's helpful. Um, I might want to look at things like, um, oh, we'll call it uh, priority. Oh, actually, operational categorization is fine, right, for Remedy. Um, so we'll look at some of those different operational categorizations. Also, we will bring in priority as well. Um, potentially the short description of the incident. And you don't notice how, again, how, or I'm sorry, summary. Um, You'll notice how quickly all of that uh, that query data gets loaded in with Power BI. It's pretty amazing, in fact. Uh, so that's a combination, really, of the capabilities of Northcraft and Power BI. Uh, you'll notice it's just as fast as Excel and Performance Point. Power BI might be a, a shade faster. But uh, there we go. We built our dashboard. So we've got our aggregate level, and you can use all the KPIs that you like. Your time series analysis for level two, I should filter off, you know, the null date values. You can definitely do that. Um, and then the level three detail. So simple as that in Power BI. You publish this uh, to um, Office 365, to the web, and then through the integration to... SQL Server Reporting Services 2016, you can also publish uh, report widgets to here as well. 
Uh, so give us a call if you have any questions, and uh, we'd be happy to put together a proof of concept with your data. Thank you for your time.